petite. Moi, j'ai jamais ici derrière euh, la maison commune. Depuis toute petite. Moi, j'ai jamais ici derrière euh, la maison commune. Je ne voulais pas couper le euh, passage de les panels. Et je ne voulais pas couper le euh, passage de les panels. Et je ne voulais pas couper le euh, passage de les panels. Et je ne voulais pas couper le euh, passage de les panels. À quel point la baleine est importante dans notre vie Pour moi-même À quel point la baleine est importante dans notre vie Pour nous-mêmes Je suis contente et on savait que ben, trois jours, une semaine après nos vieux, nos parents, ben, monter dans les champs pour travailler les champs. Je me souviens quand on, euh, on était petite, on dirait qu'on était guidé. On sortait de, je sortais de chez moi pour retrouver mes cousines, mes cousins et on attendait. C'est comme si on attendait un bateau qui arrivait. À quel point la baleine elle est importante dans, dans notre vie? La baleine est importante dans notre vie. De, de crier quand euh, on voyait les baleines sortir soit par là-bas. On était très contente et on savait que après trois jours, une semaine après, nos, nos vieux, nos parents, ben, ils allaient monter dans les champs pour travailler le champ. À quel point la baleine est importante dans, dans notre vie pour moi-même? À quel point la baleine est importante dans notre vie pour nous-mêmes.
Sasha Terra, and this next song is called Atlas. Rolling in the sun, keeping silence. Where does it go? No one really knows Dragging when it burns In every corner of your heart Where it ends you better never go Where it ends, you 
Hey guys, how are you doing? Thanks for being here for this uh, launch party for my new music video and single. Uh, the single is already out. It's available on all uh, streaming platforms. So if you go to Spotify, uh, Apple Music, Amazon Music, you type Remora, which is R-E-M-O-R-A. You can see it uh, written down here, here, Remora. <laughs> And uh, Sasha Tarrett, my full name, uh, which you can find written somewhere uh, down here. It's going to appear uh, in the little uh, banner that you have down here. And you will find it. It's the first release that I'm uh, releasing under my full name. So there will only be that release under that name. But I'm trying to get all my other songs back on that uh, under that name. So if you want to listen to the rest of my uh, catalog, you will have to look for one of the sashes. There are many sashes on uh, those platforms. And I uh, realized m much, uh, actually too, way too late, sorry, whoa, my English is getting bad. <laughs> so way too late that um, this was going to be a huge problem. <laughs> not a huge problem, but it's like, yeah, it's not good. So uh, yeah, any tips for any artists or uh, um, upcoming artists who might be releasing music anytime soon, uh, make sure that your name is unique in some way. I don't know why I wanted, I didn't want to use my last name for so many years when I uh, kind of took the decisions a few months ago. I was like, why, what was I thinking, <laughs> you know, because uh, it wasn't worth it somehow, wanting to be just branded and known as the Sasha, which uh, I guess uh, is also a bit pretentious. And uh, it was an, a humbling uh, realization, but also uh, I think it's a good tip to anyone. So if you want to release music, especially if you want to release it, release it digitally, make sure that your name is unique and it can be found easily on all those platforms and all the uh, Google uh, search thing. Yeah, one tip for you tonight. So um, I don't know if there are... Oh, thanks, Hobbs, for the lightning. I didn't see it, sorry. Thanks, Hobbs. <laughs> Thanks for being here again. And uh, I don't know, I uh, discovered this little icon on uh, Sessions Live with, it, with a little I, and it says there are three people. So are there three people? If you are here, I know there's hubs. And if there are other people, please let me know. I'd be happy to know if you're here, if you're enjoying the music. And uh, we're going to be here for about an hour because at 8 p.m. here in Paris, uh, right now it's right now it's um, 
7.11 exactly p.m., so in uh, about 45 minutes, my latest music video to the uh, single Remora will be premiering on YouTube and we'll be watching that premiere together. Hopefully this is going to work. <laughs> it's the first time that I'm uh, embedding a uh, YouTube video on my screen, so hopefully this is going to work. Fingers crossed, but if it doesn't work, you can always use if you have one an another device, you can use it to uh, watch the premiere while we're uh, talking about it, if we want to. Okay, and if there are any, I'm streaming on Sessions Live, but at the same time I'm also streaming on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Twitch. So if there are any people there, I think there's one person, I'm not sure. And uh, if, uh, Rachel, if that's you, I'm sorry, I saw your message after having disconnected from the previous uh, short live stream, which was like part of the Rising Idol program on Sessions Live, so it was a really short live stream, which might have been confusing, I realized a bit later. That <laughs> this might have been confusing for people to come, f maybe some were expecting the uh, actual uh, live stream for the music video. So, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm going to start singing <laughs> a bit more. So um, all of the music and the uh, songs that you're hearing tonight are uh, my songs. And uh, some of them are already released, some are not, uh, some will be, some won't. <laughs> uh, the first song that you heard is a song called Sil Sil uh, not Silver Chains, uh, To The Start, and it's available on my second album, which is called Treize, T-R-E-I-Z-E. -E. And you can find it on these streaming platforms as well. So, uh, this is this was to the start, and the second one I played is called Atlas, which is uh, an unreleased song, and uh, it's not. Uh, I don't plan on releasing it. I love singing it live, though. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I think if you look at it from a, an industry point of view, I shouldn't be doing that, you know, singing songs that songs that are unreleased. But I've also watched a lot of artists like. Alanis Morissette, who would sing songs, unreleased songs, and would never or release it in a very special edition. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I like sharing things that... And if you like those songs that I might say that are or won't be released, if you really enjoy them, please let me know, because I might uh, choose to release them just for you. Okay, so next song is a song called Silver Chains. It's a single that I released about uh, almost two years ago now. Yeah, two years ago in 2020 and uh, during the uh, lockdown here in Paris. And uh, we shot a music video with my uh, lockdown uh, companions. And you can find it on my YouTube channel. Please check it out and leave a comment if you like it. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to sing it tonight for you tonight. Let's do Silver Chains. And uh, yeah, it's about... Um, trying to make create connections with other people uh, despite being you know all of us separated we were very connected and we've been very connected since then just for the by the fact that we were kind of living the same thing so I thought it was interesting to try to focus on the fact that we were um, all this kind of all in the same situation somehow and feel compassion and connection so there we go, silver chains. My doors are locked with silver chains. No escape. My fingers are crossed, no trust in anything. My heart's a hole, come lose yourself in it. We believe, we believe, we believe every word springing from your lips. We can live, we can. In a world where we tied at the hips, we will give, we will give, we will give up our minds. Do as you please with them, you receive when we leave, when we grieve, you don't mind. Inside those walls, I'll stretch.
This was still the chains. I'm just gonna get a bit of tea. Um, hi, Frank Porter, and somebody else has joined. I'm sorry, I can't see your name because I'm using the uh, like the artist uh, interface, so I can see some of your uh, names coming in, but I can't see any everyone. So welcome, guys. Thanks for being here. I'm Sasha Tarrat. How are you doing? And uh, this is the uh, release party. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be. Uh, basically a live show with me talking to you and uh, I might uh, ask you some uh, trivia questions we never know and uh, yeah welcome if you want to share with me where you're from uh, what you're doing are you a singer are you an artist as well let me know some stuff I'm interested and I love to know where people are watching from so uh, let me know because I'm in Paris right now and it's uh, what time is it it is. Sorry, I should have set up a countdown, but I haven't taken the time to do that. So it's 7.21 p.m. here in Paris. And at 8 p.m. we will be watching the uh, YouTube premiere of my new single and music video. The single is already out, so you can go and already listen to it if you want to. It's available on the streaming platform and it's called Remora, which you can see written here, Remora. And the... Uh, um, uh, my name <laughs> is Sasha Terrat, which is written, which will appear at some point uh, right here. Music, written, produced, and everything by me. So there you go. Um, Remora, uh, if you don't know about it, uh, I will tell you a little bit about myself at, at the same time. Um, I'm from an island called New Caledonia. It's, it's uh, between Australia and New Zealand. It's a French island, but uh, yeah, we're basically at the opposite side of the earth. <laughs> and uh, it's part of the overseas territory, France's overseas territories. And uh, there th we have like a saying, we say that somebody is a remora, which refers to a kind of fish. It's a fish that has like a uh, sucker-like organ, like I saw in the definition. That's how, you, that's how you say it. So here basically it has a little, Sucker, <laughs> I think that's how you call them, like the things that stick. And it will attach itself to some various kind of uh, fish, like um, sharks or 
whales or uh, shark whales, whale sharks, sorry. <laughs> so all that kind of stuff. And in New Caledonia, we say th about someone that they are a remora when we basically, usually when they just stick with us and can't seem to leave our side, but also when they are a bit over overwhelming or, you know, and uh, and hard to get, you know, when you when you have a hard time getting rid of somebody, you say they're a remora, basically, for any reason that may be. So, <laughs> and uh, um, I wanted to extend that concept or idea to all the old habits or the uh, you know kind of the remaining the remains of all the th stuff that we were taught by society, parents, teachers that we don't always question because they are like societies, like this powerful figure that we don't want to question. But at some point, I think that's what going through adulthood is. It's basically, you know, questioning everything you've been taught and making sure that if you, making sure that you align with those principles or not, and, you know, just going with that and, you know, uh, having your own journey somehow and uh, <coughs> being responsible. That's the word I was looking for. Being responsible for your own fate and your own decisions and being able to say, yeah, well, this might be wrong, but I chose to be like that. So you're responsible for your own actions. And uh, yeah, so that's why I wanted to call this song Remora. But if you, in the music video and in the, the song, I tried, which is not something I'm used to doing, but I want to do more because I think we need a lot of light and laughter and uh, and in brightness in the in the world right now. And I guess I just don't take myself so seriously now. But there's a lot of humor in the in the music video, and uh, yeah, it's not a song to cry about. It's a song to feel you know liberated, free from this, and uh, you know not take all this too seriously. Okay, <laughs> that was a lot of talking. There are still some people. Let me check that little uh, eye icon on uh, Sessions Live. What does it say? Mm -hmm. Six people, six people watching. Wow, cool, we're growing. Apparently there's still one person watching and I'm kind of suspecting my bot to be that <laughs> person watching on the others on the other uh, um, streams streaming service but that's fine we still have like 45 minutes to spend together and to let people join in so uh, yeah once again if you have the little chat box whether you're on sessions live or uh, any other streaming platform please uh, leave a message ask a question I'd be very interested to share some uh, stuff with you so uh, let's do a little quiet song, somehow quiet. It's a little ballad, and it's called 13, like the number. And you can find it on my second album as well. And it's about uh, time passing, basically. It's about uh, making sure you're in the moment. I guess 13 is my carpe diem, and I wanted to use 13, that number, because to some people it's a lucky thing, and to some other people it's... Uh, it's a bad curse or it's a bad omen. And I guess everything can be seen like that. S and the future can be very scary. Or it can be very full of hope. So, uh, and the past as well can be seen in so many ways. So I guess there's nothing else to be in the moment and to live stuff that come in the moment, you know. So that's my 13. There we go. Friend, I know won't tell. 
There we go. <laughs> this was MDMA. Sorry, I didn't know. I forgot. <laughs> like I'm saying that as if I didn't make that the set list. But I forgot <laughs> that the two songs were uh, segueing into one another. Sorry, let me drink a bit and I'll come back. So I haven't done that kind of uh, long live stream in a long time. Uh, I used to do them uh, at the end of 2020. And then, after going back to New Caledonia for a couple of months, I started doing mainly the uh, live sessions uh, festivals, which were our 15 minutes, 15 minutes performances. <laughs> but uh, I'm happy to be having more time with you guys and uh, having time to have some questions if you you guys ha you guys have some I'd be happy <laughs> and uh, yeah talk to you a bit more about my work who I am and what I do at the moment so let me see the time uh, 7 37 p.m. so wow 15 minutes um, let me check so I'm just gonna show you we will s watch the live stream via video like that so here it is, the premiere. I don't know why there is this little thingy. Oh, here we go. So hopefully we will hear the sound, the music as well. Hopefully it won't be too loud. But yeah, so. But for now, let's do some more songs. And let's talk. Let me see. I forgot my set list again. Oh yeah, cool. So. I have a few more songs. We'll see. I, will, I might not have time to do all of them before the, the uh, premiere and uh, for tonight, but uh, that's fine. Okay, so the next song is also a single that I released, uh, not in 2020 though, in 2021. And uh, this was an old song that I had, uh, like old. I think I wrote it in 2014, and uh, yeah, considering the subject, I think I wrote it in 2014. And uh, I had produced a version of it, a rough demo of it, and uh, I liked it at the time, but I just didn't know how to 
how it fitted with the rest of my songs and how I could incorporate it in my uh, set lists and my uh, live shows. But uh, in 2021, I decided to resuscitate it and reproduce it and re-record it and release it as a single. There's no music video to it, though, but you can find it on uh, the uh, streaming platforms. And it's a song uh, in French, and it's the only one that I've released in French, where I wrote everything, because I sang on a song in French, though. Uh, but, and uh, I'm very happy to share it with you. And it's about, you know, going to a big city and uh, trying to find connections with people and enjoying it, you know. So there we go, la main. And you can dance if you want to. Go guys, this was La Na. Okay, sorry, I was checking if we had a reverb. So, uh, oh, I think there's somebody new watching. Hi, wherever you are. I can't see if you're on uh, li uh, YouTube, Facebook, or uh, Twitch, but hi, whoever you are, and wherever, wherever you might be in the uh, virtual world or in the actual world, welcome. <laughs> and, uh, Hey guys, over at Sessions Live, I hope you're doing 
very good. So, 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 what else do we have? Let me see. Uh, so, ooh, 15 minutes left. Ooh. There is going to be a five minutes, uh, five minute countdown, so uh, we won't watch the whole countdown, but still. Okay, <laughs> I will need to drink for the next song. <laughs> So, um, drink a bit and then I'll talk to you a bit. Ah, somebody else arrived. Hi, welcome. Welcome to the uh, live stream for my uh, music video YouTube premiere and uh, also release of the uh, single because it's been released today. It's not an April's full, but welcome to you, welcome wherever you are, whether it's Twitch, YouTube or Facebook. I'm happy to see you. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing good, are uh, healthy and everything, that you're happy as well. So, um, the next song that I'm going to sing is a song called Asteroids, and it's also on my second album. And uh, it's a song about uh, an explosive love, <laughs> I guess. So, and uh, uh, love in a in large sense, it's about explosive relationships, you know, those people, whether they're friends or families or, or family members or, or, or partners that whose people, you c it seems like the only relationship you can have is a fighting one. And uh, it was not about saying anything about it. It was just about observing it. So there we go. And uh, let's do it now. Yeah. <laughs> While my vocal cords are a bit hydrated. <laughs> Do it, asteroids. Don't believe the word I say, for I will always lie.
there we go. This was asteroids. <laughs> hey, you are tenacity. Welcome. Welcome. How you doing, man? Girl. Or non binary. Welcome. <laughs> That's the thing about live streams. <laughs> I tend to not <laughs> save my energy. <laughs> okay, let's see what that, what else comes. Oh yeah, cool. Actually, I have three more songs for you guys. Let me see how much time do we have left. Ten minutes. Woo! <laughs> so we'll probably only have time to do one because I will talk a bit <laughs> and then we will watch the video premiere of Eremora. I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't wait to share it with you. Seriously, I can't. It's, uh, yeah, hope you will like it. Okay. So, um, the next song I'm gonna sing is not released yet and uh, it's going to be released. <laughs> but I wanted to uh, give you a little gift tonight. <laughs> and it's a song called uh, Oh Moi Moi. And it means the messenger from uh, far away, you know. So, uh, and this was given to uh, an object that scientists observed about, uh, my God, five years ago now. I think it's, it was in 2017 or 2018, I'm not sure. Well, I knew about, I heard about it in 2018, so there we go. <laughs> and uh, this object was the first one that we could observe that came from outside our solar system, which was pretty exciting. So, uh, and the, uh, the guy, the uh, scientist who discovered it was uh, Hawaiian, and uh, Oumuamua is a Hawaiian word, and uh, I'm part Polynesian because my dad is from Wallis and Futuna, Wallis Island, and uh, also a bit, a bit of Tonga. And uh, Hawaii is uh, Polynesian, so the language resembles a little bit. <sighs> Sorry, I can't catch my breath. I don't know, I think it's the uh, censure. kind of kills me, kills my breath. And uh, yeah, so I wanted to write a song about this object, but also the ideas for songs, like the way they came and they could leave and you had to study them. So there we go. It's Oh Moi Moi, and you will hear a lot of uh, so uh, music and traditional instrument from New Caledonia in the song. So there we go.
I'm hovering in No time to waste To study me And watch me as I circle you all And move to the next galaxy Then I'll feel the void And where Guys, this was oh moi moi moi, oh moi moi. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so we have three minutes left. Let's see how the premiere is doing. <sighs> What's it like? Okay, can I play it? <sighs> Two minutes. Let me see if I can do something about it. <sighs> so. Let's see if it works. Hopefully it will. <laughs> so um, let me be where I'm not uh, hidden. So uh, the song Remora and the video music video I uh, made, uh, I wanted uh, to use like filters from Snapchat, from Snapchat and uh, create like this whole story that would also resemble this kind of you know, collage, you know, the way, uh, almost cr almost like the idea of a scrapbook, but also like old videotapes being, you know, if you took all your vid old videotapes and you cut randomly segments to create a story, that's how it would resemble. So that's what I was trying to go for with it. And I wanted to create a, come on, a house, <laughs> a uh, smartphone and a social media format so obviously it will look better on a on a on a smartphone that's the intent because i wanted it to be like the modern kind of also have this kind of uh, blair witch project modern vibe to it you know as if you found uh, this uh, phone in a forest and you were like kind of uh, piecing stuff together so that's what i wanted to go for how much time do we have let me see hopefully it works uh, 60 seconds. It's going to start soon. Oh my god. Hopefully we we will hear the sound. Uh, let me see if I can check on the uh, sound mixer. So it should be coming out. But I don't know. This is the first time that, it, that I'm doing this. So um, we'll if, it, if there's no sound, we'll just watch the images and you will look at it afterwards. <laughs> and uh, so yeah. Did I hear something? No. So, uh, yeah, and uh, I've been using, you know, Snapchat filters as masks for my live streams. If you've seen me before on uh, Sessions Live, uh, you might have seen me perform 
with those masks, so I won't, and I've been, you know, re-inspired by masks, obviously. This is Heliopora by the amazing Karina Shatari. So hi to her, if she's here. And uh, so this video, music video is kind of a continuation of that idea and that work and that uh, just me being keen on masks and anything that could cover my face. <laughs> so let me see, what does it say? Oh, it's starting. Oh my god. I don't know if we can hear anything, but uh, let me know if you can hear something. There should be some music already, I think. So this is the countdown. <laughs> so I choose the uh what's what's the name? The uh <sighs> Let me see. Uh I think it was uh contemporary. So I have absolutely no idea how much time is left. But uh, <laughs> let's see. So there's that much time left. If you can figure it out, let me know. I can't, and I can't even see it properly because it's too small on my screen. So <laughs> sorry about that. If there's anyone here, I'm excited to share this moment with you. Thanks for being here. In any second, we should be able to watch the uh, YouTube premiere for my new music video, Remora. So it's going to happen anytime soon. Is it like 44? 54? Oh, less than a minute. 53, 52, 51, 50, 49. Yay! Un unfortunately, there's going to be a little bit of a delay. As I can see, you have like about 10 seconds delay with me. So I will be <laughs> celebrating in a in uh, like you know, with a bit of a delay. <sighs> Forty-seven. How much time? Oh my God. Oh, weird numbers. Weird numbers left. Weird numbers less again. Well, yeah. How m much time is that? <laughs> I want to do a countdown, so if I can't see and figure out what those uh, symbols are, this is going to be hard. Mm -hmm. So road and dots, pong like countdown, love it. I mean it's to me it's totally useless, but I love the aesthetic. So that's why I chose it. Maybe I should have looked at a more practical side to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hobbs, if you can figure out how much time is left, help me. Oh, I think I can read that no of thirty something. What is it? Is something's going on. 44, 22, 1, 0, it's going. Yay! Is it? I think it's, is it? Something's happening. Hobbs, if you can, can you, oh, hi, Swedism. You're right on time for the uh, premiere of my Remora music video. I don't know what's happening. I can still see, oh. So this was not it, wasn't it? Guys, if you can hear uh, the music, let me know because I can't, I don't have a monitor for that, so I'm not sure if you can hear. You should be hearing music by now. And if you can't, I won't be able to fix it, so please go to YouTube. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, the most important is uh, us watching the images, I guess. <laughs> And after that, we will I will be leaving you, and uh, I will be seeing you next week for another live stream on Thursday. And I will might do another one, a happy hour, uh, maybe Sunday. I'll let you know. Check, keep your eye on my uh, uh, sessions, uh, live session, sessions live profile, all my social medias. So I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay. I think I know. <laughs> Sorry, because I figured the time when it said the premiere, the pr the premiere is going to start in zero minutes. I thought it meant the actual video, but I remember I set up a five-minute countdown. So th I don't know where we are in that five-minute countdown. So forty-seven seconds of if somebody can figure out the minutes. Any music except my voice? That's a bugger. What's going on? Let me see. Remora Road. Yes. Hmm. 
Is this working? Oh. Should be coming out. I don't get it. Sorry, guys, if this is not working. Oh, four, three, two, one. Is it it? Is that it? I think. I think. Yeah, that's the one. There we go. Enjoy. Oh my god. So that's the intro. Should I stop commenting? Let me know if I should shut up. But I think there's no music, so uh, so that's the intro. <laughs> and there's a little cameo, which hopefully I won't have any trouble for. This one, sorry. Which is Raja O'Hara from Drag Race. A little uh, a sound and video sample just for that. And this is me in the desert, you know, emotional desert, or, uh, uh, well, me, I mean, the character I meant, so, because <laughs> I mean, no emotional desert, absolutely, so, uh, this is the uh, person, the character in emotional desert, and that's the, that would be the little voices talking in your head, nagging at you, nagging at your brain, and uh, telling you, that you're not good enough, basically. So, <laughs> this is the definition for Remora, given by this crazy, scary teacher, which is one of our Remoras, as I mean, the way I uh, interpret it in the music. Thank you, Hobbs, for sharing the link. That's amazing, thanks. And that's uh, one of the characters that I think we are many personas, so one of the personas that we may be replying to all this aggression. So those uh, those shots, they are basically the idea of me writing the music, writing the song at the piano, and then cutting to what's in my head. So that's when, uh, that's basically situation where you end up not recognizing who you are, although you haven't changed. Uh, that would be for uh, trying to, you know, bend yourself into what people expect you to be and, you know, uh, going, you know, going on this roller coaster of emotion where sometimes you're happy because people are happy and then you end up not being happy because you're not what you want to be. Oh, this is, uh, yeah the idea of uh, us letting those crazy stuff and those... Because I have a fear, a phobia for uh, spiders. And uh, so that's the idea of being able to overcome your phobias. And, uh, well, the end would be, yeah, getting close to who you actually are, but also having every emotion explode inside of you. So that's why it's an explosion, basically, of uh, shots and very, you know, uh, electric and, uh, how would I call it? <laughs> Not electric, but a kind of e nervous uh, editing. And you back to uh, then. Sorry. Climax and back to the... Uh, situation where I'm writing music. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and also, uh, the idea of me using Raja O'Hara cameo saying, I'm not gagging, because that's one of her, uh, how would I call it, uh, catchphrases, the best known catchphrases phrases from Raja O'Hara was uh, it being, she representing also the voices that you have in your head, like when I'm playing the piano, writing that song, I, always, I would always have a voice saying, eh, this is not good, so I'm not gagging. <laughs> and then cut to the situation. So there we go. Um, let's see, I'm just, let me check the time. Okay, I'm just gonna sing one last song for you and then I'm gonna go. And uh, thanks for being here, guys. I was so happy to share this premiere with you. You can rewatch the video, obviously, on YouTube if you wanna go. There's a link in a session, the Sessions Live um, chat. And for people who are not on Sessions Live, you can find it on my website, 
website sasha makes music.com which you can find uh, right here sorry it will appear here at some point so i'm here there you go sasha makes music.com and you can subscribe please don't hesitate to subscribe to my socials if you want to keep up be updated there will be more live streams more news up coming up and uh, yeah exciting news so i will see you soon i will play this last song and then go at the end of it so have a great night day wherever you might be thanks for being here take care of yourself and take care of each other i was so happy to be here and this is a song called mother nature Yeah.